Hi there, today we visit Italy. Italy, officially the Italian Republic, is a country consisting of a peninsula, delimited by the Alps and several islands surrounding it, whose territory largely coincides with the homonymous geographical region. Italy is located in the center of the Mediterranean Sea, in southern Europe, and is also considered part of Western Europe. The flag of Italy, is the national flag of Italy? It is a tricolor featuring three equally sized vertical pails of green, white and red, national colors of Italy, with a green at the hoist side, as defined by Article 12 of the Constitution of the Italian Republic. The Tricolor Day, Flag Day dedicated to the Italian flag, was established by law N. 671 of December 31, 1996, which is held every year on 7th of January. Rome, is the capital city of Italy. It is also the capital of the Lazio region, the center of the metropolitan city of Rome, and a special comune named, Comune di Roma Capitale. Rome is located, in the central western portion of the Italian peninsula within Lazio, along the shores of the Tiber. Vatican City, the smallest country in the world, is an independent country, inside the city boundaries of Rome, the only existing example of a country within a city. For this reason, Rome has sometimes been described as, the capital of two states. Rome is often referred to as the city of seven hills, due to its geographic location, and also as the eternal city. Rome is generally considered to be the cradle of Western Christian culture and civilization, and the center of the Catholic Church. In 2019, Rome was the 11th most visited city in the world, with 10.1 million tourists, the third most visited in the European Union, and the most popular tourist destination in Italy. Like most of the rest of the European Union, Italy uses the euro as its currency. Italy's total land area is 301,340 square kilometers, the 72nd largest country in the world. The current population of Italy is 60,327,235 as of January 2022, based on Worldometer elaboration of the latest United Nations data. The official and most widely spoken language across the country is Italian. Il canto degli italiani, the song of the Italians, is a canto written by Goffredo Mameli, set to music by Michel Novaro in 1847, and is the current national anthem of Italy. The Colosseum, is an oval amphitheater in the center of the city of Rome, just east of the Roman Forum. It is the largest ancient amphitheater ever built, and is still the largest standing amphitheater in the world today. Construction began, under the Emperor Vespasian, in 72 and was completed in 80 AD, under his successor and heir, Titus. The Colosseum could hold an estimated, 50,000 to 80,000 spectators at various points in its history, it was used for gladiatorial contests, and public spectacles. The building ceased to be used for entertainment, in the early medieval era. The Colosseum, is still an iconic symbol of Imperial Rome, and was listed as one of the new Seven Wonders of the World. It is one of Rome's most popular tourist attractions. The Colosseum is also depicted, on the Italian version of the 5 cent, Euro coin. The Leaning Tower of Pisa, or simply the Tower of Pisa, is the Campanile, or freestanding bell tower, of the cathedral of the Italian city of Pisa, known worldwide for its nearly 4 degree lean. The height of the tower is 183 feet 3 inches, from the ground on the low side, and 185 feet 11 inches, on the high side. The width of the walls, at the base is 8 feet. Its weight is estimated at 14,500 tons. The tower has 296 or 294 steps, the seventh floor, has two fewer steps on the north-facing staircase. The tower began to lean during construction in the 12th century, due to soft ground which could not properly support the structure's weight, and it worsened through the completion of construction, in the 14th century. By 1990, the tilt had reached 5.5 degrees. The structure was stabilized by remedial work between 1993 and 2001, which reduced the tilt to 3.97 degrees. The Leaning Tower of Pisa, 
is one of Italy's most famous tourist attractions. Venice is a city in northeastern Italy, and the capital of the Veneto region. It is built on a group of 118 small islands, that are separated by canals, and linked by over 400 bridges. The islands are in the shallow Venetian lagoon, an enclosed bay lying between the mouths of the Po and the Piave rivers. Venice has been known as, Queen of the Adriatic, City of Water, City of Masks, City of Bridges, The Floating City, and City of Canals. The lagoon and the part of the city, are listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Venice is known for several important artistic movements, especially during the Renaissance period, and has played an important role in the history of instrumental and operatic music, and is the birthplace of Baroque composers, Tommaso Albanoni and Antonio Vivaldi. Venice remains a very popular tourist destination, a major cultural center, and has been ranked many times, the most beautiful city in the world. Florence is a city in central northern Italy, and the capital city of the Tuscany region. Florence was a center of medieval European trade and finance, and one of the wealthiest cities of that era. It is considered by many academics, to have been the birthplace of the Renaissance, becoming a major artistic, cultural, commercial, political, economic and financial center. During this time, Florence rose to a position of enormous influence in Italy, Europe, and beyond. Its turbulent political history includes, periods of rule by the powerful Medici family, and numerous religious, and republican revolutions. From 1865 to 1871 the city served as, the capital of the Kingdom of Italy. The city attracts millions of tourists each year, and UNESCO declared the historic center of Florence, a World Heritage Site in 1982. The city also contains numerous museums, and art galleries, such as the Uffizi Gallery and the Palazzo Pitti. Due to Florence's artistic and architectural heritage, Forbes has ranked it as the most beautiful city in the world. Florence plays an important role in Italian fashion, and is ranked in the top 15 fashion capitals of the world, by Global Language Monitor. It is the fourth richest Italian city. Some of the greatest explorers were Italian. Christopher Columbus, was an Italian explorer and navigator, who completed four voyages across the Atlantic Ocean, opening the way for the widespread European exploration, and colonization of the Americas. Marco Polo, was a Venetian merchant, explorer and writer who traveled through Asia, along the Silk Road between 1271 and 1295. John Cabot, was an Italian navigator and explorer. His 1,497 voyage to the coast of North America, under the commission of Henry VII of England, is the earliest known European exploration of coastal North America. Amerigo Vespucci, was an Italian merchant, explorer and navigator from the Republic of Florence, from whose name the term America is derived. Italy's automotive industry is best known for its automobile designs, small city cars, luxury sports cars and supercars. The automotive industry makes a contribution of 8.5% to Italian GDP. Italy is one of the significant automobile producers both in Europe and across the world. Today the Italian automotive industry is almost totally dominated by Fiat Group, as well as its own, predominantly mass-market model range, Fiat owns the upmarket Alfa Romeo and Lancia brands and the exotic Maserati brand. William Shakespeare, set a third of his plays in Italy. Thirteen of Shakespeare's 38 plays are set in Italy, though he almost certainly never visited Italy. The Adventures of Pinocchio, commonly shortened to Pinocchio, is a novel for children by Italian author, Carlo Collodi, written in Pesha. The plot involves an old Italian woodcarver named Geppetto, who carves a wooden puppet, named Pinocchio. The puppet is brought to life by a blue fairy, who informs him that he can become a real boy, if he proves himself to be brave, truthful, and unselfish. The Trevi Fountain, is a fountain in the Trevi district in Rome, designed by Italian architect Nicola Salvi, and completed by Giuseppe Panini, and several others. It is the largest Baroque fountain in the city, and one of the most famous fountains in the world. The fountain has appeared in several films. Legend has it, that throwing a coin into the fountain, 
we'll guarantee that you'll return to the Eternal City, Rome. An estimated 3,000 euros are thrown into the fountain each day. Italy is home to the largest number of UNESCO World Heritage Sites in the world. After the annual announcement of new sites by the UNESCO Committee, the country now boasts 58 World Heritage Locations. The oldest bank still in existence is Banca Monte dei Paschi di Siena, headquartered in Siena, Italy, which has been operating continuously since 1472. Until the end of 2019, the oldest bank still in operation was the Banco di Napoli, headquartered in Naples, Italy which had been operating since 1463. Pizza was first invented in Naples, as a fast, affordable, tasty meal for the working-class Neapolitans, on the go. It gained mass appeal in the 1940s, when immigrating Italians brought their classic slices to the United States. Italian wolf is the national animal of Italy. It is also known as the Apennine wolf, and is a subspecies of gray wolf, native to the Italian peninsula. The national bird, Italian sparrow, also known as the Cisalpine sparrow, is a passerine bird of the sparrow family Passeridae found in Italy and other parts of the Mediterranean region. The strawberry tree began to be considered one of the national symbols of Italy in the 19th century during the Italian unification because with its autumn colors, it reminds the flag of Italy green for its leaves, white for its flowers, and red for its berries. Commonly known around the world as spaghetti bolognese, in its authentic form ragu alla bolognese, is recognized as the national dish of Italy. Its origin can be traced back to Imola, a town near the city of Bologna, where a recipe was first recorded in the 18th century. Here are some breathtaking visuals from Italy. Enjoy! Thank you for joining us in our journey to explore our world, we hope to see you again. Please subscribe.